understand the confrontation that the true church of God is up against. We are all alone in this world with Jesus. And as long as we can hold our main focus, and that is to do the will of the Lord, we will accomplish everything that God had intended for us to accomplish, and that is to defend the faith once delivered. Now in 2 Timothy uh, chapter uh, and 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, you have to properly interpret the scripture in order to have any type of clarity to the scripture. Now, again, turn back over to uh, Philippians chapter 2, jump right into verse 11. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of the God the Father. Uh -huh. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yes. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. If you have the Spirit of God in you, you will do exactly what God instructs for you to do through that spiritual connection. Nobody can come short. It's not in the Holy Ghost to come up short. The problem is, do we have the true spirit of righteousness, which is the spirit of truth, or the Holy Ghost, if you will, dwelling within us? Now, anyone can have it because it's a gift freely given by God. If you are water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, the Bible says you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. But a gift cannot be uh, received or I would say a gift cannot be actually uh, put into fruition if it's not properly received in other words if I have a thousand dollars to give you and you don't take it, it, it that, that's your problem and not mine Amen. God yeah. said the Holy Ghost is a gift that is given to you but if you reject that gift that again is your problem is not God but we have to understand the spiritual uh, awakening that should be in all of us that we can fulfill the responsibility that we have in honoring God's word and we were created for one thing only yeah. Yeah. and that is to follow after God and to reflect his glory we yeah. do that by a lifestyle that's committed uh, to the purpose and the intent each individual has uh, by individual commitment we are committed again to uh, obey the scripture regardless of who goes along with it or who does not go along with it. We have to understand that it's God who has manifested his spirit to each and every one of us who seeks after righteousness and God promised eternal life to those who would be obedient and follow him. Yeah. So we have to uh, first put into action faith. Without faith it's impossible to please him. He that comes to God must believe that he is a rewarder of them that carefully seek him. So if we believe the Bible, and the Bible is the only way that you're going to have a relationship with God. Now, let me, me close now. Nobody can have a relationship with God without his word. His word is recorded so that you can understand his will. The will of God is plain and clearly given to uh, the seeker of the truth by a leader that God has anointed and sent forth to rightly interpret or rightly divide the Bible to you so that you can have a clear interpretation 
and a clear direction where you are going. Mm -hmm. We have stated many times that uh, President Obama is, if not the Antichrist himself, he is at least the beast in Revelation 13. And I said I'm more and more as I see the events taking place, and especially the last couple of days where they passed this don't ask, don't tell, Amen. bringing sodomites and lesbians into the military service. And I tried to explain to you, and especially those viewing by way of you too, this is not something that's coincidental. This is not something by accident. They are making these sodomites and lesbians, which is a subhuman culture. Make no mistake, they are subhuman. They are below the human standard. They can't produce babies. They can't uh, 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 have a normal lifestyle. It's impossible for two men joined together in sex to have any type of normalcy. There's something uh, 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 something disenfranchised there. There's something that's totally in error. There's something that's missing. There's something that's not uh, uh, functioning properly in the mental state. You, you, we have to understand, brothers, that God never made a mistake. Amen. But man makes many mistakes. But it's up to us, us to point out the error and the mistake that man has made. And now he's gone too far. Whenever you question the creation of God, that puts you in a position to be the adversary unto God as the devil himself. Yeah. And Mr. Obama has taken on that role, a role as the chief adversary to God by questioning uh, God's creation. He made male and female, made he them and joined them together and told them to go and multiply and replenish the earth. This was done in the very beginning in the garden eastward in Eden. And we have to understand that has never been corrected. Or uh, I should say, the man cannot correct that which God has already instituted and placed in the Word for a living testimony forever. The Bible is forever and ever. And we have to understand that's the living testimony or the instruction God has given humanity to follow after Him. When you have this union now that's taking place, sodomites and lesbians, if you notice, Obama is appointing more lesbian sodomites to key government positions. And I've said this often, but I'm trying to go in a direction here, if you all follow me. Once he gets these key positions filled by lesbians and sodomites, now he's bringing in the military service, sodomites and lesbians. Now the military service, in case of any uprising, you go to the army when the police can't handle it. In the military service, as soon as he gets rid of those few four-star generals who, have, from what I understand in the news this morning, they turned coward and they told the president, well, we'll go along with it. That's a genuine coward. You have no business with four stars on your shoulder. I'm so glad I'm out the military service because I wouldn't follow you across the street. Court martial, re court martial, special court martial, general court martial, whatever court martial. I would not follow a coward across the street. And any time a person will go against his natural uh, inclination that God has given him, his natural quality of character, that means that person ain't worth two dead flies. So to those generals who acquiesce to Mr. Obama, uh, today it said you would go along with the program uh, I'm ashamed of you I am true and I'm glad that I was in the service uh, from 52 to 56 when they had generals who were generals and officers who were officers and when they 